Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are doing another grocery haul and someone requested I do a Coles grocery haul so I thought I'd give that a go. I usually go to Woolies um, or just like the local fruit and veg shop. Um, sometimes I go to a bulk food store but I don't really go to Coles that much and that's just because honestly um, I have that like Woolworths rewards thing where you get you know like a voucher every I think every thousand dollars you spend you get a ten dollar voucher so you know they have very similar products so I just kind of end up sticking to Woolies um, and there are a few things that I slightly prefer from Woolies like I really like their tofu um, but yeah I tend to go to Woolies but today I'm mixing it up I'm gonna go to Coles there's actually a few different new plant-based meat alternatives that I wanted to try that I'm pretty sure they only sell at Coles one of them is the bird's eye chicken strip so I'm gonna try find that and hopefully give you a taste test as well so stay tuned to the end of the video to see that but I'm going to drive to Coles and I'll see you guys there Bye. Lol, fun fact, I wear glasses when I drive. Also, I was just thinking about how I usually go to Woolies, so most of my bags are, like, reusable bags are Woolies bags, and I, like, specifically tried to find a Coles one, and then I also have my Hydro Flask bag, um, because I didn't want to be that person that walks into Coles with all these Woolies bags. But, yeah, let me know if you'll like that too. Anyway, I'm going to hop into Coles now, and I'll see you inside. All right, so I wanted to show you the massive selection of vegan meat substitutes they had. Honestly, I was shocked at how much stuff they have in comparison to Woolworths. I feel like they have definitely a bigger range. And this was just where the majority of the plant-based meats were. There was actually another separate section which had all the tofu, tempeh, as well as some other plant-based meat substitutes over there. So they had like two separate sections for vegan, vegetarian um, meat substitutes, which was just crazy how much stuff they had. Um, I wanted to show you this boar-free bacon, which I had never actually seen before in a store and it looked really interesting. Um, I've tried that brand's chicken substitute before and it was really good. Um, here, I just found these new protein bars and they looked pretty interesting. They had three different flavors, a chocolate, a lemon, and a salted caramel, but I decided to go with the lemon. I also just wanted to show you that I didn't realize you could buy these like Cremon Street Baker um, little cake things that are vegan and then they had quite a few different vegan cakes and biscuits and stuff that I hadn't seen before so there's these little love cakes you know probably not the healthiest thing I didn't actually end up getting them um, but if you're having like a party or like friends over and you want something quick and simple that's tasty it's good to know that they do have these in Coles. I also found this olive flatbread which I'm really keen to try I didn't get it this time because I didn't really need it for anything I was making this week um, but it looked really good and potentially we'll go back and try it another time um, I was also interested in this Coles brand plant protein powder which I'd never heard of or seen before um, let me know in the comments below if you've tried this yourself I didn't end up buying it today but I would be pretty interested in tasting it because it's got like a good amount of protein pretty minimal ingredients um, and there's the two different flavors there so so could definitely give that a try in the future but let me know if it's bad because I don't want to waste my money if it's not good <laughs> and they had a whole massive range of other kind of protein stuff protein bars protein powders all of that jazz they even had some macro mic stuff and a few different cool brands then I just wanted to show you this I didn't realize how much cool stuff was in Coles like pots and like bowls and stuff like that like it was actually pretty nice and then this is the Uncle Toby's oat milk that I've seen in ads before and I was really intrigued as to what it would taste like. And sorry to ruin it for you, but I'd probably rate that oat milk about a 5 out of 10. I just think it was a bit too sweet and it wasn't really creamy enough for me. But anyway, moving on, there were quite a few different plant-based vegetable stocks. There was some gravy. There were these plant-based pies, which looked really good in the freezer section. And then this is the second fridge that I was talking about. So this is another section of all these different plant base um, sauces, spreads, um, cookie dough, there were these fancy plants, little silky pot things, some more tofu, more plant-based meat substitutes like deli meats and sausages and tempeh and little bites and little falafels and stuff like that there's just so much there there were also these soybeans in the freezer section which are great and then here's the bird's eye stuff that i was looking for but they didn't have the exact one i wanted so i didn't end up getting that and i got this other one called meat and yeah but there was so much stuff in the freezer section it's really well stocked at coles or at least the one i went to all right guys i am back from the supermarket i've got all my stuff sitting here next to me i will show you everything once i'm inside 
but I am very peckish and I want to try this little protein bar that I picked up. So it says it's new and I think it's made by Coles because it doesn't really have, oh, the brand is 180 nutrition. So maybe it is a separate brand. I'm not sure, but let's give it a go. It's lemon slice flavored. I was tossing up between this flavor and the chocolate flavor, but I feel like I always get chocolate flavored protein things. So I thought I would give this one a go. It's not bad. My first initial taste was like a bit mixed, but now that I've kind of got the whole flavor through my mouth, it's actually pretty good. It's got 12 grams of protein per serve and approximately like, it's well, it's 785 kilojoules. So like just under 200 calories kind of thing. It's made with pea protein isolate, date paste, inulin soluble fiber from tapioca starch, cashews, coconut, almonds, tahini. That's the flavor. <laughs> That's the flavor that I'm not so keen on. Um, as well as rice crisps. <laughs> what did I say? Rice crisps and natural lemon flavor. So yeah, it does have like a little bit of a crunchy element. And that's from the rice crisps. But yeah, I think it's the tahini that's slightly putting me off. Because I'm like, oh, that just doesn't really go with like a lemon slice. Like it, that's more of, I think of hummus when I think of tahini. Um, but it's still good. I reckon I'd buy the bar again but I'll try a different flavor because I think I probably would have preferred the chocolate flavor slightly but the actual like taste of the protein is really good like it's not very strong kind of proteiny taste which a lot of protein bars are and also tastes more like natural sweetness because of the dates I think whereas a lot of protein bars I have they taste very artificially sweetened and like overly sweet whereas this is like a nice balanced one so sorry this is just becoming like a protein bar review video but <laughs> it's pretty good um I actually did a video a while back where I compared all these different types of plant milks. So I could potentially do that for protein powders or protein bars. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing that because I have a lot of different protein powders that I have at home even and that I've tried before. Um, but there's always new ones that I haven't tried. So it would be kind of interesting to try out different ones and like rate them and stuff. So let me know if you'd like to see a video on that because that is definitely something I could film in the future. Um, but I'm going to go inside and unpack all my groceries before they like melt and go gross. So yeah, I'm going to head inside and I'll see you in a sec. All right, we are back inside and ready to show you everything that I have. So we'll start off with let's start off with this bag just because it's right here um so i've got a bag of spinach because i love my spinach it's got iron in it it's great to have all the time i got some spring onions because i'm actually recipe testing a new recipe for my ebook um which is spring onions so you'll have to wait and see for that but got some spring onions also some fresh mint which goes in that recipe as well um, I bought these wraps for a change because as you'll see in a second, I got these like chicken tenders, which I want to, they're vegan chicken tenders, um, that I want to put inside the wrap. So that's for that. I got some rice cakes because sometimes I just randomly crave rice cakes. So I got these ones, which are organic rice cakes, just, you know, basically just rice and sea salt. That's it. 99% rice, 1% sea salt. I got some black pepper just because... We ran out of it, that's all to say about that. Um, in here is a head of broccoli. Um, I have an avocado because I'm gonna make some scrambled tofu and I love having avocado with it. Here I have my zucchinis. Sometimes I randomly crave zucchini oats, zoats if you've had them before, they're really good. Um, if I don't have baked oats, I'll have zoats. So got them for that, but then also I'll use them in like stir fries and stuff like that. Got some flaked almonds because I don't know, I just kind of want to experiment putting this maybe in my baked oats on top because I love roasted almonds. So I feel like if I put them in the air fryer on top of my baked oats, they might go like crunchy and crispy and delicious. So I'm going to try that out sometime this week. I also have some more bananas because bananas are a staple. I have some lemons, which some of them are for my recipe that I'm recipe testing for my ebook. Um, I've also got lemongrass, ginger, shallot, and garlic. Again, that's for another recipe. And then I have a lime also for that recipe. That's that one done. Let's go on to the next bag. So the next bag is my Hydro Flask bag. I got gifted this from Hydro Flask, which I'm really grateful for because it's honestly the best for shopping. It's so big. 
and it carries like two bags worth of grocery shopping. Um, so it's yeah, great size and it's insulated. So it keeps my freezer items cold. So that's what I've got in here. So I got this meat um, substitute. It's like a chicken tenders. So it's, it's not crumb chicken because I was looking for like a, yeah, more lean, if you could say, um, <laughs> protein source. This has 21.1 grams of protein per serve and the serving size is around like 160 170 calories so it's pretty good in terms of like the protein ratio um so i'm gonna try that maybe in like a stir fry kind of thing um which would be yum i'm actually kind of devo though because the chicken style tenders that i wanted the bird's eye ones that's what i was looking for and there weren't any in the coals that I went to. They had the crumbed ones, but I really wanted to try the actual like tenders, like the actual chicken strips. Um, so I've got this one instead, which I think it is pretty similar. So I'll give that a go. And then I bought these, these are crumbed ones because I used to get this wrap when I was in high school. I don't know if anyone went to my high school and watches this, but we used to have these sweet chili chicken wraps and it was my favorite thing to get from the canteen. If they ever had it, I was like, that's my lunch sorted. And these look dead set the exact same as like the meat version that I used to have in high school. Um, so this is like a, a vegan brand that they have a Coles. It's just like, I think it's like a home brand kind of thing, um, but it's called Herbs and Sons, proudly meat free, chicken free sweet chili tenders so i'm really excited to try that and make it into a delicious wrap then i got some fable meat i have tried this before and i know i wanted to like try new types of plant-based meats but it's really good and they don't i don't think they sell it at woolies anymore because i haven't seen it in like months and i really like it um i have a recipe on my channel i'll link it in the description box below and in the top right corner it's for a plant-based beef bourguignon using the fable meat and it was so delicious so i'll link that in the top right corner and in the description box below because yeah that recipe was so good so i'm thinking of maybe making that again or just making some kind of like a stew with this and like some frozen peas and corn or something like that like it's just really yummy and then another plant-based meat substitute i got this Clean plant protein bore free bacon. So I've tried the chicken from this brand before and it's really good. Um, I would say it's not like the tastiest plant-based chicken, but it's definitely like the cleanest in terms of it has minimally processed ingredients. I mean, yes, it does have a few ingredients, but it's pretty minimal. Um, the one, the chicken one, the actual like way that it has the color of chicken is because they put pumpkin in there. So it has, yeah, I think the chicken one only has four or five ingredients. Like it's really minimal. Um, but this one also is pretty minimal, but <laughs> to be honest, I'm like, I don't know how this is going to taste because it looks pretty weird in the packaging. As you can see there, like, I think that's the oil and like the fat, um, but yeah, I'm thinking of making scrambled tofu later on in the week and then trying that out with it. So I will try to film that and keep you posted because that will be interesting. <laughs> All right, what else do I have? In terms of tofu, I bought a couple of different blocks of tofu because as I said before, I usually get my tofu from Woolies and I've actually also got a really nice one from Aldi before, but the ones from Coles never really liked. So I decided to try these two different ones because I don't think I've had them before. Um, they're both organic, I think. Okay, this one's not, this one is. We'll try them, we'll give them a go. I'm sure they'll be fine. Like, I mean, most of the time tofu is tofu, but I just really like the macro brand tofu and the Nutrisoy brand tofu. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how I find them. And then talking about Nutrisoy, I have this tasty tempeh. So this is my favorite, favorite tempeh. It's basically the only tempeh I like. Um, it's marinated in some kind of, it's just soy sauce and apple cider vinegar, I think, that it's marinated in. It honestly tastes so good. So if you are in Australia, or if you have this overseas, I'm not sure, um, and you've never tried tempeh before, or you've tried it and you didn't like it, I highly recommend trying this brand in this flavor. So this brand has a couple of different flavors. They have like a plain one and then they have like a spicy one. But this one, which is called Tasty Tempeh, is highly, highly rated, like the best 10 out of 10 tempeh you can buy. So I can literally eat this raw and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to, but I can literally eat it raw from the packet. That's how much I like it. So anyway, got that. <laughs> As you can see, very passionate. Um, I got some shelled edamame beans. I usually buy like the small little packets from Woolies, um, but this is quite a nice big packet, which is good because I eat a lot of soybeans. I use them in like stir fries, in uh, curries. Sometimes I just eat them on their own as a snack. So great to stock up on those. Okay, there's only a few more ingredients left. I bought 
this oat milk. So I actually saw an ad for this the other day um, and I love Uncle Toby's. I don't know. I think just because I grew up with them, it's like a brand that I know and love. So I'm excited to try their oat milk. They did have a barista version as well, um, but I decided to just go with the original to kind of see what the original's like. And then if it's not creamy enough, maybe I'll try the barista one. All right, all right, all right. Whew, I'm talking a lot. Okay, <laughs> I got this yogurt. So I wanted to buy a natural style yogurt for a recipe that I'm making this week. So I'm trying this one. I think I actually have had this a few months ago from like a health food store, but um, I don't usually buy it. I usually buy either almond or cashew yogurt. So this is a soy based yogurt. So we'll give that a go. And then I have a couple of sauces. So I bought some organic tamari sauce. I was running low on soy sauce. I saw this tamari and I was like, well, why not give that a go? I have had tamari before, but I just usually buy soy sauce. So I was like, mix it up, try a bit of tamari. It's always good to mix up your routine and have a bit of variety in your diet. And then I got some maple syrup because I use maple syrup in lots of sauces and dressings and also to make things like protein bars and protein cookies, which I have recipes for on my channel. I'll link them down below in the top left corner. Honestly, if you haven't tried my protein bar recipe or my protein cookie recipe, give them a go because they're pretty damn yummy. And then the last thing I got is this soy ginger dressing. Um, just for those days when I'm like, I don't know, in a rush and I want like a salad or I want like something that's just quick and easy. I thought I'd give this a go. It's the Keep It Cleaner brand. Um, I love a soy ginger dressing. I obviously like could make it on my own if I had time, but I just thought it'd be a nice thing to have in the fridge to be able to just put together a healthy salad really, really quickly. Um, so yeah, got that. And that is everything. The total for this was rather expensive since I bought a lot of different plant meats that I don't typically buy. And each of them probably cost somewhere between seven to ten dollars um so a little bit pricier and again like i'm not going to eat all this stuff in a week this will probably last me like a week and a half if not longer with some of the things like the frozen stuff i might leave that for a couple of weeks so yes this total was got it got the receipt um $127.63 so a little bit more than what i typically spend um, I think last week I only spent about $60. So I was pretty like minimal last week. Um, but usually I would spend between $80 to $100. But as I said, today, look, to be honest, I was treating myself a little bit. I wanted to try these new things. And I don't really often go to Coles. So I was like, mix it up, try some new stuff, be a bit inventive. And yeah, that is my grocery haul. So I'm not sure if I'm going to end the video here. I might like insert some clips of me trying the different things because I know you'll probably be interested to see um, a few of the plant meats, what they taste like. So if I have time in between filming this and uploading it to try all the different things, I will insert some clips now. And I did. So here is one of the tofus I tried. This one actually tastes very similar to the macro brand tofu. Um, so yeah, it was really good. It like wasn't too hard, wasn't too soft. It was a good regular kind of firm tofu. Um, and as you can see here, I'm trying it raw and it tastes fine raw. I used it in this delicious fritter recipe, which will be in my ebook, which is gonna come out in a few months time. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for that. And then this is the other tofu. I bought the organic tofu. This this one was a little bit harder, um, so I would say this was an extra firm tofu. So if you're wanting a really hard, firm tofu, go for that one. Now onto these chicken tenders. I loved this. I made this into like a lemongrass chicken um, type dish and honestly, it was so, so good. I'm definitely going to buy these again because it actually has quite minimal ingredients. There's no trans fat. Um, it's very high in protein per serve and it's in the freezer. So that's really handy because you can buy it and just leave it in the freezer for a couple months until you need to use it. So yeah, this one is definitely a great meat substitute and I would definitely buy it again. Worked really, really well. Now onto the boar free bacon. So this one I tried with, I made a scrambled tofu and then I had the bacon on the side. And initially I was like really sus. <laughs> like look at the way this package it looks like it looks a bit funny but oh my gosh they turned out so well i was so pleasantly surprised i just pan fried them for a few minutes on each side and they actually got really nice and crispy and they sizzled up as you can hear now and yeah would definitely recommend this as well i personally think they taste 
kind of more like jerky than bacon um, but I prefer that because I actually never really liked bacon that much and I really liked these so I would recommend that's the end of the video I hope you really enjoyed it and you took some value from it um, let me know if you shop at Coles or Woolies yourself if you're in Australia or if you're overseas let me know where you shop there honestly I love watching grocery haul videos like wherever the people are in the world when people like in the UK go to like Asda and Tesco and stuff I'm like oh that's so cool like to see all the different things they have so I'm a bit of a grocery haul person um I don't know if you guys are too or let me know but yeah and if you want me to show you any other grocery hauls I have got a couple on Woolies I've got a couple on Aldi um but if there's anywhere else you want me to give a go or if you want me to go back to those places let me know if you're sick of grocery hauls let me know <laughs> um if you want to see that like protein powder or protein bar review video let me know also or if there's anything else you have suggestions of I want to know because I want to create videos that you guys genuinely enjoy because that is my aim. I want to help you guys and just provide a bit of fun, a bit of value, brighten up your day if I possibly can. Um, and yeah, I hope you are all safe and well. I know, especially if you've been living in Australia, <laughs> um, we've had a pretty hectic few weeks. Um, obviously, New South Wales is in like severe lockdown, but Victoria has been kind of like going in and out of lockdowns a lot and it's been quite a difficult time for a lot of people um, even myself I've experienced a bit of anxiety just with that like lack of control and that's something that I'm trying to work on now because you know life <laughs> is always not really gonna be in your control I mean obviously there's certain things you can control but on the whole you have to go with the flow um, and understand that you know life has its ups and downs and just ride the wave and you'll get through it if anyone's going through a similar thing, feel free to reach out on Instagram. My Instagram's just at SaskaLily. I'm always open to chatting. Um, and yeah, I hope I can help you in some way. And I'm actually thinking of creating a video soon on, you know, tips and tricks for anxiety and dealing with anxiety because that's something that I know, like, <laughs> literally, like, even if you're not diagnosed with a mental health illness or disorder the majority I would say if not literally everyone in the world has experienced anxiety stress um, like sadness even if it's not depression like you can go through periods where you don't feel your best and um, it's super common and the most important thing is like recognizing it and then trying to make changes and trying to do things that are going to help you feel better um, it's super important so yeah I would like to create a video on that so let me know if you're interested um, or if you just want to reach out and have a chat let me know um this has been rambling and going on for so long uh but i'm just you know chatting to you catching up um i hope you guys are safe and well and i'll see you in the next video bye